Carolina Nance here with Kaylin Crosby. Principal Chris Roby and Dr. Kathy Campbell are pleased to announce that students at Appling County Middle School are connected in learning through the new Bring Your Own Technology implementation. Students are not the only ones experiencing the wave of the future. That's right, Caroline. Teachers are also embracing new ways to incorporate technology into lessons. Students use their internet-capable devices to take quizzes, edit Word documents, create graphs, and research subject-related content. By using technology in lessons, students are actively engaged rather than passive learners, and screen time has not been discouraged. They are becoming more collaborative with peers as they share devices in groups or with partners who may not have a device. So join Keelan and me as we visit some classrooms at ACMS to see how the teachers and students are using technology. I'm Keelan Lamb and I'm in Miss Betty Sauls' Georgia History class. In Miss Sauls' class, we're allowed to get on Twin Tribune. On Twin Tribune, we're allowed to stay updated on current events and write our opinions about them. Okay, boys and girls, today we're going to be looking at a current event. And I want you to use your technology and go to a website called Tween Tribune. The website is listed on the board up here. Um, we're going to be looking at three articles I would like to direct you to. One is about teenagers in sleep. Another is about Microsoft's new logo. And a third is about the Cat Video Film Festival. So what I would like for you to do is to go to one, read it, or look at the video, and then post. All of your postings will not go directly to the internet. They go to me first, your teacher, and then once I approve them, they will go to the internet. Um, and also, you will not be identified on the internet. You will only be seen as a password, and it will be the password that I give you. So go ahead and see which one you'd like to do. I'm Amber Smith from Coach Crampton's 8th grade science class. We use our devices to post up assignments and questions on Nedmodo. I like to be able to use Edmodo and our devices here at school because one day we'll have to go into high school and college and we'll need to be able to know how to do this. Alright, we have a test on the periodic table tomorrow. Um, we're going to go to Edmodo. We have, we've got an assignment due for August 31st, which is tomorrow. Now, as right now, only two of you turn this in. Now, you need to have this done before you come into class tomorrow. If you turn in tomorrow, by this time period, you're going to be late. You can go home tonight and do it. I need your name. You're going to need the uh, atom symbol, atomic number, atomic weight, the group periodic table, and the group name. Now, you don't have to be very detailed. Just type it on whatever device you have. If you don't have one, you can go to the computer lab today. You can get home. you got a computer and get on there. If you have a device right now, you can use I don't care. As long as you get it in, submit it to me by... 12 o'clock tonight, or you can get any time before that. You come in tomorrow, it's going to be late. Anybody got questions about that? My name is Day Reddy, and we're in Miss Bridge class in, in sixth grade, and she teaches science. I'm Hannah Miles, and what we do in Miss Bridge science class is we use our devices to pull up and telecast, and we chart our weather for every day. Now that we have charted our weather for today, please make sure you keep that on your chart because we're going to use that information to see the weather patterns over the month of August. I want you to scroll down on your device all the way to the bottom. You're looking for a tab. You can see mine up front here. You're looking for a tab that says Active Storm Track. Active Storm Track. What this does, this keeps us um, updated on storms that are forming out in the oceans. Why do we need to know that? Carson, why do we need to know about the storms that's forming out in the ocean? So you like know if it's going to hit or not, right, and like right where you need to be, like you need to be inside your house or outside. Or... That's exactly right. That's exactly right. Now, my name is Jessica Bautista. My, my teacher is Ms. Rents, third period, seventh grade hall, and she teaches language. Where she lets us use our technology to get on Quizlet in homeroom or we can even use it at home. The reason she lets us use Quizlet because it helps us study and we can also make flashcards. Tomorrow we are having a 
and test. Tasia, what are we having a test over? Story elements. Story elements. Where is a website that we can go to to help us study for that test? Quizlet. Quizlet. Okay, we're going to Quizlet.com. We're going to play the scatter game. So everyone, get ready to go. We have to beat a one minute and eight seconds. And when I say go, we're going to see who wins. On your mark, get set, begin. My name is Tanner Folsom. I'm from Dr. Pam Johnson's 8th grade language arts class. We used to create up on our devices to take quizzes, submit tickets out the door, and ask questions about the lesson, which if we did not understand. Okay guys, as you know for the past two weeks we've been looking at different genres um, of writing. We've also been talking about why it's important to vary the types of sentences we use when we write. We've also looked at examples of different sentences in our novel, Bad Boy, okay? So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to test your understanding to make sure you understand about sentence structure, about the different types of sentences. So go ahead and log into Socrative for me. Make sure you're using the correct room number. Go ahead and log in if you have not already. And while you're logging in, somebody tell me why is it so important that we use a variety of sentences and vary the structure of our sentences when we write. Okay. It adds more detail to our writing. It adds more, adds more detail. What else does it do? What else does it do for us? It adds more details. It adds what? It makes it more interesting. Okay, right now I have 23 people logged in. A few of you need to go ahead and log in. Make sure you're in room number 0824. Hi, I'm John Limbo of Miss Morris's class. Miss Morris lets us take our device to enter important assignments and events. All right, this is what we're going to do. We're going to use our uh, calendar app on our uh, technological devices to put in an event that we need to remember. So if you will go to your calendar, click on that app. Okay, everybody there? All right, now you're going to uh, click on the plus sign in the top right-hand corner. Top right-hand corner. Where it says title, I want you to type vocabulary quiz. Actually, we should add science vocabulary. My name is Tanisha Jones. I'm in Ms. Collins' seventh grade math class. She lets us use our devices to scan QR tags, which will help us with worksheets and take us to other websites. Okay, now that we're finished with the lesson, I'm giving you a worksheet. I want you to complete the worksheet. When you are finished, Come up to the board and use your device and scan the QR code and that will give you the correct answers. And if you have any questions about any of the ones that you missed, we'll go over on then. Trent, will you please come up here and show them how we do the QR? So he's used his device. He's zooming in and it's scanning and it gives you the list of answers. Okay, and then you'll check your paper with that. Any questions? Okay. Hello, my name is Sophia Suarez and today in Ms. Harrington's reading class she allows us to use downloadable books in the app dictionary.com. Okay class, um, at this time we're going to take out our books, our novels, The Hobbit. So if you've got either the paperback copy, you can get that out, or if you have your device, go ahead and power that on. While we're getting powered up and ready to read chapter three, can someone kind of tell me what you think about the technology so far this school year? Has it benefited you in any way? Do you see any advantages to maybe having a device over the text? What do you think? Any, any, okay, Harley? Yeah, three times when I'm familiar your word in the book, we can just click on it and we can see the definition and so I have to look it up. Okay, and so really that is very helpful because then it doesn't interrupt the flow of your reading so much. You can just look the word up right then and there, not have to get a dictionary. So I definitely think that's an improvement. Um, somebody else? Uh, Elena? 
think we don't have to worry about damaging the paperback books. Right. Well, you know, when we read these a lot, they begin to get lots of wear and tear. And I know we have to take good care of our devices, but they are pretty sturdy. So um, that's the, that's very good. Um, anybody else see a benefit or uh, an enjoyment you've gotten out of using the technology, Brianna? Well, it's more interesting to use the technology instead of using a book. Okay. Does it keep you engaged, Brianna? You think yes. you've enjoyed having that? Okay. Well, that's awesome. I appreciate your thoughts on that. All right, chapter three. Let's. Hello, my name is Ben Houston. My name is Holton Simmons. And we're from Miss Sue Hayes' sixth grade social studies class. In Miss Sue Hayes' uh, social studies class, we can use our technology to look uh, resources on the internet. We can use also use our technology to look up terms and maps on the internet. As you're researching, you are allowed to use your technology devices. Remember to use them wisely. Go to our search sites to look up information about Canada. You're looking up information about the physical geography, the climate, and what else? What other area are we looking up? Resources. Our resources. We're not going to print pictures today, but we're going to find our information and add it to our booklets today. Hello, my name is Yanni Nels, and I'm a part of Ms. Boatwright's sixth grade math class. The way we use our devices is we like to use interactive websites to work on math, which is like fractions, and I like to bookmark the websites on my device so that I can have extra practice at home and study. Now that we have done our lesson, let's scroll down to the very bottom of our site. You will see some practice problems here. If you would click on these practice problems and go ahead and start practicing out of visibility. Let's click on, click, click on question one. And you may begin work. And these are some of the, of the things that you can practice at home using your technology device. There's all kinds of interactive uh, websites that we'll be using when we are dividing fractions that you can do at home. Hello, my name is Miguel Ortiz and we also use devices for connection classes like home mic. enjoyed a glimpse into how teachers and students at Applin County Middle School are implementing the BYT policy into daily lessons. On behalf of Principal Ropey, Dr. Campbell, the faculty and staff, and the students, thanks for taking your time to explore this new and exciting experience.